Hello and welcome to another very sense tutorial. Today on the topic our configurable web interface. Vision sensors are very often seen as black boxes. While they are operating you can't see what they are doing, but obviously you want to see it. The web interface will help you to do that. It is a GUI that utilizes standard internet browsers such as the Internet Explorer or Firefox and by using it you will be able to see what your vision sensors do. You will also be able to check parameters, change jobs or do adjustments afterwards. As you may already see, the configurable web interface has several benefits. The configuration is so simple, the setup only takes about 5 minutes. You can select exactly the functions where you want to provide control and choose their position in the menu. And you can also customize your web interface according to your brand and corporate identity by adapting colors or adding your own logo. Furthermore, you don't have to invest in your own GUI and there is no need to install any third-party software on your machines. Now I will show you how you can configure your web interface. There are two sections for the settings. One is always for the web interface and one is very job specific. First of all, we go to device settings. And here you can see the section customizing your web interface. First of all, we can see the functions. And here you can see the three buttons. We can set them to a specific function. For example, the very sense um, changing to selecting the language or statistics to not okay images and so on. And you can also change the language that you want to see the web interface in. For us, it's supposed to be English. Okay. And here you can see I have already configured a job creating not okay images. We have three features. It's the part location on contours right here, the brightness, over here and we've got the angle and uh, I set the limits of the accepted angle that way that we have the not okay images. I will show you later on why. To further configure the web interface we go to configure interfaces, web interface and here you can see a matrix of three per three fields and we can set different features here. You can see the part location on contours. You want to place brightness here and the angle in the middle. And this is what your menu in the web interface will look like later on. Here you can see Profi and User. If you set access rights also for the web interface, then you can configure the user separately. In this case, we only have to work with the Profi. And we say we only want to have the chance to reconfigure the angle of the corner. Well, and that's it, configuring your web interface. We can activate the device now. Yes. Save what we've done. Yes. And now we can copy the IP address from the info section and go to our normal web browser, paste the IP address and load it. And you can already see the web interface operating. And as it's supposed to be, it's only producing not okay images. Now we want to go to the menu and this is also what we have configured previously. We go to angle, angle of the corner and now we can reconfigure the border limits. And now it's okay. Okay, and when we go back now and save the job, you have to keep in mind that the previous job is overwritten and um, the adjustments you have made is already valid in the machines and you have changed the job completely. Do you really want to apply these changes permanently 
this is what I've just mentioned. Yes, we do. We go back and now you can see the web interface creating OK images. So I hope you liked the tutorial on our web interface and I hope you listen up for more. Thank you very much.